Welcome back, y'all, to another episode of the Bull City Pioneers Podcast. Tuning into your two favorite Latinos. My name is Hector. My name is Luis. And we're back for another okay, episode. And bro, let me just say, man, let me just say, Hector, did you go out and buy a bunch of stuff you didn't need, man? Like a bunch of junk? Or like, what's up, man? Like what are you talking about? the glasses, the bracelets, the the uh, Jay Z. Uh, oh no, man, I just you know. On this podcast, you know these uh these sponsorships we've been having. No. I just had to, you know, I just had to. So what, why do not? Me. Why why don't I have stuff like that on? Well, I don't know. You, I mean, you, you like it? You, you like it? Look, man, I got I got some more like the the Rockaway. You guys remember this shit? The Rockaway, bro. But you is know, it customized or like is it just like that? paint? You know, like oh, so so it's, so it is customized. <laughs> I, I, okay. You know, I had to go through with the jewelry and shit. You know, I had to buy myself a new Roly. A Roly, bro. <laughs> you know me. Yeah, you rolled out a Ross with it. <laughs> oh, it's funny as heck. It's all good, man. You got a ball on a budget. That's cool. Dress for less. No, Ain't nothing wrong. No shame in that. No I shame. A little something, something, you know, a little something, but. A little something, something. No, it, it is feeling a little extra, though, ain't it? It is, man. I think, I think just, I think you should change a little bit. You think so? Yeah. You want to mm-hmm. do it together? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back, you guys. Right. Okay, so that was, I was kind of fast. It was, it was a couple milliseconds. I would have thought that you would have done it faster. I told it's you, all bro. good. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, I had to do it, bro. Thank you. I, was, I wasn't feeling myself right then. So, so, so I had to bring myself back. So, you know, since we're on that topic. So, Hector, what are some techniques that you use to, um, what I call it, to, uh, uh, not waste your money on on stuff that you don't need or stupid, stupid shit. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You know, like Kanye buying alligators. You know? Right. <laughs> I mean, like everybody has done it before. Bought some things that they shouldn't have bought. That maybe wasn't in their budget, or it just wasn't a smart financial decision. Um, what's an example of something you did um, that wasn't too much too much of a smart? Uh, financial fin- decision. Yeah, it's financial decision. Yeah, bro, this has to do with honestly. This has to do with a topic we talked about when we were back in the outdoors when we were talking right. about you know using debit card versus cash. Right. You remember that talk? Try to speak up a little bit. You remember that talk? Yeah, I do. Try to speak up a little bit. You say. You say. You say. You say. It has to do with that. Okay. Like, I felt like when I'm spending with my card, I'm spending a lot more than I feel like I should be. Really. Yeah, so I feel like when I'm using my card, it might be you know, <laughs> a little irresponsible. Man, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. People always, well, people that know me, they always look at me like a cheap, uh, a cheap, a very cheap person. I, you know, sometimes I am cheap, yes. But what happens is before I make a financial, like before I buy something, that's like more than, let's say, 10 bucks. Well, no, more like 20, sometimes 30. It depends on what it is. You know, I check my bank account. I go online, I check everything. And then they're just like looking at me, at, at, you know, looking at my phone and then me. And then like, they're like, yeah. they're probably, they give me the face of like, this dude is cheap. Like, <laughs> so, I mean, I just want to make sure that's, you know, it's worth it. You know, is it yeah. worth it? Then I think about, you know, the stuff that I have to pay this month and, and my bills. And, you know, then I try to prioritize and, you know, just taking care of your money. That's one thing that a lot of a, a lot of young folk don't have. Young folk. Young folk. Yes, sir. Huh. But uh, a lot of young folk don't know how to manage and take care of their money. Like they know they don't have much in their bank account, but they still make bad decisions like. You know, it is what it is. You know? I'm not cheap. I'm being frugal. Right. I'm being frugal. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know I'm saying? Taking care of my stuff. Prioritizing. Like, while you won't have gas money by Friday, I'm going to be driving how much ever I want because I took care of my money, took care of, you know, prioritize. And I won't be the one saying, hey, can you give me a ride here? Can you give me a ride there? You know, I won't be, yeah, I won't be the person saying, can you give me a ride here? While wearing, you know, the latest shoes or a nice ass outfit, you know, yeah, I'm gonna be wearing, you know, old ass Adidas pants, a shirt that's, you know, not that nice. Yeah, most of that stuff in that in that beginning, you know, right, like that type of stuff, right, 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 (laughs) you know, (laughs) or like, you know, fresh ass shoes, my shoes are gonna be dirty, but you know, I'm just like, you know, that's cool, but Mm. my car won't be breaking down. Uh, I'm I'm gonna have gas money. 
I won't be asking people for money. I'll be actually paying my bills. Right. Like, I'm gonna I'm a actually be paying my bills. Yes, I won't be looking the best, but I won't have to worry. Uh, I won't have to worry about shit. And my bank account is gonna be looking nice because my savings have gone up. You know what I'm saying? You cool. So, hey, yeah. man. Uh, you know, that's 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 what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the, what's the worst thing that you spent on that? Oh man. Um, for me, man, this sounds this is gonna sound bad, 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 bro. But a bad investment that I've made in the past. Let's say past month. Past month. Oh, past month. Month, month or, or two. I want to say month, man. This month, I haven't, I haven't made a bad financial decision. This month, I've, I've done good investments. Actually, you know, rental properties. Got my first rental property. Uh, 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 oh, oh, right. I don't think you told me about this. I haven't. I haven't. I'm gonna tell you off camera, and the next episode we are gonna talk about it probably. Um, yeah, probably not, <laughs> bro. Oh well, no, you're right. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's just like it's just taking care of you. And honestly, for me, it's taking care of my uh my um my stress. Like, mm -hmm. you know, if, if my money's right, if my bills are paid, less stress. Less stress. Yes, I won't be I I won't be wearing fresh shit, but hey, I won't be the one, you know, on the side of the road on the side of the road walking to a bus stop because my car just broke down, you know what I'm saying? Won't be wearing the fresh shit, but you ain't got shit to wear. Right, about. like I prefer to, you know, be driving a car that's functional and reliable than having nice clothes and then be driving something that might break might break down at any time on the side of yeah. the, on the side of the road while it's cold, maybe raining, maybe snowing. That's what I'm more, you know, really scared about. Yeah. And it's just like, bro, there's other stuff to spend money on that can make you money. Like, if you can put your money to work for you, I'm all for it. You know, but that's you know, that's 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 for another time. That's a whole other podcast. Mm -hmm. bro, bro, bro. But damn, what's oh? I haven't said what my um, worst financial decisions have been. It's honestly been females, <laughs> bro. Females. <laughs> Investing money into females, bro. Like I've, I've invested some. Like you know, you're trying to be a gentleman or whatever, and paying for the female and shit, and like and it just ends up not working out, right? Or just like it's just too much. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you should, you should make a female pay sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> or like if you, if you guys aren't like anything or like I don't know. I just feel like. You know, 50, 50. 50 50 sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, especially if you're younger. But if you're the one inviting. Right. That's a story. If you're inviting, that's you know different. I mean? That's different. But no, it's not even about that, actually. It's just I've invested, like, I've offered myself, like, even if they want to pay for themselves, I've still paid for them just to make myself look better. And, Bruh. <laughs> and that, that has backfired on me so many times. Well, not backfired, but like, I regretted it automatically. Because it's like, damn, bro, I could have kept those fifty bucks. Mm. I'm broke. No, no, <laughs> I'm not broke. I mean, uh, you know, it's broke just, for the week. Not even broke for the week. It's just, I'm, I mean, how I said, I'm good with money. I, you know, but uh, it's just like, damn, I could have used those fifty bucks for something else. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I could have, I don't know, shit, I don't know. Probably some subway. No, I could have put it into my savings. You know what I'm saying? But. I mean, it is it is what it is. I'm, I'm way beyond that point. It's been what two years, three years now, mm -hmm. two years and a half since I stopped being that shit. You know what I'm saying? Put that, putting that shit to the side, focusing on my stuff. Yeah, you. But also one thing that I, that you know, since we're talking about focusing on on your personal stuff and taking care of your own own um, network and and not network but net worth. And you know finances and all that stuff. Um, one thing that we took care of not too long ago is our networking. So me and Hector went to a networking event that Lord Fest um, planned out. And let me just say, shout out Lord Fest. Shouts out to Lord Fest. Let's type him in the video. But it was dope as hell. We met some dope people. Some pretty high end people, I would yeah. say. So some of the people that were there, name them. There was a, a panel of, of four guests. Um, 
Don't give me. I'm, a, I'm probably gonna butcher the name. Hey, bro. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, so no, yeah. there was. Uh, Just describe uh, me for uh, what they're known for. Okay. Mez, I know his, the nickname he goes by as well. Mm -hmm. um, was he? He was the producer for uh, J. Cole, I think, wasn't it? Or an engineer? Something like that, bro. Yes, uh, I, I, I don't remember. He worked with J. Cole, he worked with some big artists. Uh, then there was uh, Kevin. There was two Kevins. Um, one of them, you know, he was like the producer too. He he, he does a lot of uh, other work and stuff. Tough writer, bro. Uh, I'm butchering this hard as fuck. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> just just do what you gotta do. You know. What I mean? And then uh, somebody else who worked with the baby as well. And then also Ebs, the artist who I'm pretty sure some of y'all know. Right, dope as uh, artist for sure. Um, they were just giving some insight. And stuff. Right, right. Yeah. And honestly, man, one thing that I did that that kind of I kind of got out of my comfort comfort zone. I was like, all right. During the while they were talking, they were kind of having like like, like a, they were ah, damn I can't speak. They were having like a little break, right? And I was like, all right. I went to my car, got the Bull City Pioneers um, business cards, and then when when people were networking, I went up to the producer for the baby. He's he has a studio down in Charlotte. I was like. Hello, my name is Luis. I'm from Bull City Pioneers Podcast. Um, I have a request. I have a request for you. It's okay if you say no. I will to totally um, understand if you say no. But I was like, if you give me one hour out of your day, one of these days, would you let me go down to Charlotte to your studio and let me put you on our podcast? And then he was like. Yeah, man, that's totally fine. And I was like, if you have any rates, let's talk rates. You know what I'm saying? How much do you charge? He's like, nah, dude, just bring a couple beers and we'll call it, you know. And I was like, yo, this dude is dope as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, all right, this is, this is dope. Let's get it on, you know what I'm saying? So um, we set that up. I still have to DM him and, and get, you know, the dates and time sorted out. But we are going to Charlotte. We're going Finally. to Charlotte. Finally, bro. But um, yeah, that was dope as hell. And we also met a shitload of people, man, that we networked with. And they're actually going to be on the podcast soon. Next podcast, we're going to have a guest that we met at the uh, Lord Fest, a network event. And, you know, just as a little uh, teaser, he is involved with Carolina Waves. That gives out a lot of information. You probably got, you guys probably know him. Um, he's a dope man, dope if you know guy. You waves. Right. If you if you don't, then go follow them, and it's just a dope network as well, um, a dope platform, in other words. But um, yeah, it was dope people. Yeah. I met a shitload, of, but I also saw a lot of familiar people. A lot of familiar people. I caught up with this girl that uh, I went to Fevel Street Elementary School in uh, what mm -hmm. was it, Southern Durham, South. Durham? Yeah, I think it's South Durham. Went went to the same school with her in the third and fifth grade because that's when I went to Fevel Street Elementary uh, School. That. Dude, she I was like, yo, I, I went up to her and I was like, yo, this might sound weird, but um, I remember you. You sat beside me in the third grade in in class, and I was, and then she's like. What you remember that? She's like, I knew you looked familiar. I was like, Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> you just got a beard now, right? Yeah, yeah, and, and you look kind of, you know, you know, you look older. But um, and then she's like, Oh, that's dope. And and then I was like, Hey, we also have a podcast. If you got, you know, if you ever um want to be on it or want some, you know, help on anything um when it in in relation to content creation, and then she's like, Oh, really? You have a podcast? And then I was like, yeah. And then she was like, well, I've been wanting to start my own podcast. And I was like, if you want, just come to the studio and we can help you out, give you some tips and tricks, maybe, maybe even do a podcast with you. And then she was like, okay, that sounds dope, yada, yada, yada. And then she went up to you as well. Yeah. She was like, oh, you take pictures. And, you know, wait, she said she, you, took, you took nice pictures, right, or some shit like that. And I was like, hey, that's dope, that's dope, that's dope. But I'm gonna be honest with you, we met a lot of people. I yeah. followed a lot of people on Instagram, but I'm terrible, 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 terrible at names. I don't remember, yeah, I think sure. I remember one. That's <laughs> really? it. Really? Yeah, man, I remember one. 
I, I, said, I, I know them if I see them again. But if I don't see them in person, I won't remember their name. Yeah. Like, I don't, I, I'm good at faces, not names. I yeah. actually knew a, a lot of people there. Yeah, uh, I'm not surprised. I, <laughs> <laughs> most of the people that I saw there, actually, I had already known. Like, uh, I met new people, of course, but, like, most right. of the people that I saw there, I already knew. And um, it was just really dope to see, you know, that community right. coming together and stuff. They talked a lot about that at that talk at that right yeah they, discussion. They, they had a lot of a lot well the audience had a lot to say about how durham like there's not enough collaboration and a sense of community and you know there were different people that were rebuttaling that that uh thought by saying you know what i'm saying there like is. get your there is but you also got to get your own you know what i'm saying like maybe you can't fuck with your own people or whatever but you still got to get your own like instead of trying to conquer Durham try to conquer North Carolina or the whole you know the whole country you know what I'm saying like instead of you know competing against and uh, instead of comparing yourself and competing against local artists let's compare your content to national level artists and then try to get on that level instead of trying to focus on oh I need to you know do this so I can beat this, you know, artist or mm -hmm. content creator. Like instead of doing that, let's let's you know do it at a more national level and and try to get to that, you know, type of audience and and and, and level of content creation instead of just looking at this as a city thing or as an area thing. And I totally agree. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I took more of the fact though that like. Right. That there is a community here, but like oh, there definitely the, is. the fact that you know, not for there to be a more you know united community, there has to be people who actually step foot into it and actually do stuff. Right. You know, you can say that there's a community all day long, but if nobody's in it doing anything, and most of the people who say they're a part of the community but don't do don't do their part, you know, with what they got going on or trying to help others as well, then there's not really a community. It's like a right. false community you know mm -hmm. what i mean right so it's like i took more of that from that talk. right there has to be more of an active community not just the mm -hmm. label community right uh, with the local like music scene and creative scene and whatnot and so, and i totally agree with that but at the same time sometimes you have to focus on yours you know get yours before you focus on other you know the whole community, you know what I mean? Like, yes, it's good to focus on the community, but you have to apply yourself as well. Like, you have to worry about how good your content is and how yeah, what, what 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 you can do to improve yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's it's awesome. It's an awesome thing to think about the community, but you just really have to worry about your own content and your you know improving as a as a human being yourself mm -hmm. before you you know you can embark on on other on other things you know what i mean yeah right um but i, agree. I mean it, it was also dope you know hearing about how you know what, what the comments the comments of the guest speakers had to say about artists that they've worked before and and, yeah. and just the tips and tricks you know what i mean it's, it's really dope and honestly bro i wasn't expecting I was expecting a bigger crowd, to be honest with you. But honestly, I don't know why. Um, oh no! Not only that, it was it wasn't like the biggest facility. Well, I mean, it was still pretty big, but um, I was expecting crowds, bro. Really? I was expecting crowds. But then I made that I made the realization that producers aren't as famous as as artists. Not at all, man. Yeah. That's one thing that I realized. Uh, producers are not as famous as artists although they work a lot with artists and, and they're the reason why a lot of artists have fame now right now um they don't get as much fame no that's true i mean you know but i yeah there wasn't a big of a a crowd from your expectations but like the people who were there i feel like were you know people who were like genuinely interested in this right thing. yeah like the people that were there they wanted to be there for a reason you yeah know, they wanted to right. take something away from it regardless right. of how uh, you know, knew of an artist they were, or how long they've been in the game. Those are people who, who you know, t took a step to going towards their that dream of theirs, and and took the opportunity, took that chance to go to a networking event to meet new people. 
And that's what was that's actually something I really enjoyed too from it. What? Like the fact that uh somebody said during the event, I don't remember who it was, mm -hmm. but they were like, once this event is over, once they were taking, you know, questions from the right. crowd or whatever. They're like, once this event is over, I don't want nobody to walk straight out that door. Like, I want you to network. Right, really network. Because if you if, if people are complaining about, you know, there's no sense of community, you have to, you know, put your grain of salt towards, you know, trying to, you know, create a community and, and try to create a network of artists and content creators. And I was like, you right, bro. You right. You right. Because that's what I was expecting. Like, I was expecting after the event, I was like, probably just people are just gonna flock out of here, and I'm not even gonna get a chance to talk to these people. Mm. But now after that guy spoke up, I was like, "Yo, speak your shit, man. <laughs> speak your stuff." Because let's be honest, man, I wanted to talk to as many people that day as possible. I wanted to network as much as possible, mm -hmm. and I honestly, that's what happened. We, I was able to network a lot. You were able to network a lot, and. Um, it was, it's what's needed, man. It's We need more of that in Durham, bro, honestly. Well, in the triangle, we just need more of that, you know what I'm saying? Like When you said that, though, I wasn't done. And then you just, you know. Right, but, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when he said that, like, 15, like, 10 minutes into, you know, the whole, like, 10, 15 minutes into the, after the event was done, like, I looked around when I was talking to somebody, and I just, like, happened to notice, like, it looked like the same amount of, like, people from when the event you know had just started uh it looked like the same amount of people that was like that was they were still there so it was like oh nobody had left yet like everybody was actually still here getting to know somebody else so it was like it, it was a good feeling you know it was great right, right. there. and i really enjoyed that too like that was one of the, my favorite like realizations in that in the, at that event like the fact that people actually stayed to meet somebody else one of the guys at there was was uh he had a comment when when they were ta uh, taking questions and comments, it was like, it's you know the next big thing might be sitting here in this room, and then he he taught he started to uh, relate to how J Cole came from nothing, from Fat Bone, North Carolina, and now he's one of the hardest artists in history, yeah. and then he was like, and you know, J Cole being from North Carolina, he brought dream the Dream Bell Fest to North Carolina. And that's that's um, why that's why a lot of big magazines and networks and um, reporters and, and just news networks are coming to North Carolina just because of the Dream Bill Fest. Yeah, like like J Cole literally, you know, put eyes on North Carolina and, and now clearly eyes are on North Carolina content creators. I mean, how I said, you know, hence. Uh, Barack Obama, when he was naming out some of it, some of oh, his uh, favorite artists, he quoted. Uh, well, he referenced uh, what two Raleigh artists? Was well, it was it was well the baby was there, right? On, yeah, on right. That list. No, I'm talking about Raleigh. Raleigh though. Uh, Les Genius, right? It was one of his songs, but he had two other artists featured on it that were right. from the R D as well. There you go. There yeah. you go, man. It's, it's like it's crazy, like. You, you know the eyes are you know things like complex and shit. It's 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 like it's, it's coming together, right? It's coming slowly. It's coming together <laughs> slowly. <laughs> slowly, but slowly. but it's it's you know it's just bringing attention to North Carolina and and from that it's creating kind of like a you know a renaissance, yeah. uh, an artistic renaissance where people are like persevering on their uh, you know artistic form, which is completely dope, and I'm loving it and. Just like there's artists, dope ass artists rolling out in North Carolina right now, we're just gonna have way more of that, you know, That's going right. down the line. Yeah, and, and it, it, it's crazy, bro. Because like I said the next big thing might have been sitting there in that room with us, and we didn't even know it. We don't know. We'll see. Time will tell. Time will tell. And with so. you know Dreamville 2020 coming up too, you know, Shoot. there's gonna be more eyes over bro, here. Bro, the tickets gotta <laughs> be yo sky high. Yeah. I'm I'm calling this right now, but Dreamville Fest, uh, Dreamville Fest tickets are gonna be skyrocketing in the next couple years. I'm calling it right now, bro, and I know I'm right. Them shits are gonna dr the Dreamville you call, you Fest. Call stuff a lot. Oh hell yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Dreamville Fest is gonna turn into like a mini Coachella. How much you wanna bet? A mini. 
Uh, mini Coachella, yeah. Mini. 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 <laughs> a mi mini Coachella. A mini, the same thing, but same thing. But, I, well, I mean, maybe I'm talking too much when I say Coachella, but definitely an, uh, a artistic um, based big event, big yeah, yeah. festival, yeah. I know so, we know what you mean. Hey, man, that's going to bring a lot to North Carolina. It's, it's going to be a good thing for us, man. It's going to be a, definitely a good thing for North Carolina, for, you know, North Carolina artists. And maybe it'll bring jobs. Maybe it'll yeah. it's for the economy, it, economy, too. So, hey. I'm ready to dope. see what happens. I'm ready, too, man. I'm ready, too. Shoot. Ready to wrap it up? Yeah, let's start wrapping it up. So, thank you guys for it. Well, no, we need the Pioneer Nation, uh, Pioneer question and pioneer thought oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the thought mm. or question question or thought you, you got the question this time you want me to i got the question last time oh, okay I'll, I'll take the question then. what are some things what are some things that you regret buying in 2019 that you hope you don't do okay no no what's a dumb financial decision <laughs> have you done in 2019 one of the dumbest it doesn't have to be the dumbest, but one of the dumbest or worst financial decisions. That or the you biggest, made. like the most extravagant, like, right. risk. Right. Mm -hmm. That'll be interesting. Oh, actually, I think now nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that for off camera, but well, you already know about it. But what's your thought? What's the point in your thought? Um, uh, I want to know for our viewers, um, for artists, or like right, non artists right, right. too. If you're, if you're familiar with like the local scene or involved in it, mm -hmm. I want to know what you think of North Carolina as a whole and also like, you know, Durham, Raleigh and the neighboring cities and stuff. How we fit as a community, like, how do you feel about the community state-wise and then like locally-wise, right. I guess. Awesome, so thank you guys for tuning in once again to the Bull City Pioneer Nation. Bull City Pioneer Nation. Bull City Pioneer <laughs> Podcast. What's going on, bro? Thank you, Bull City Pioneer Nation, for tuning in to the Bull City Pioneers Podcast. That's much better. Um, we love reading you guys' feedback, so please comment, share, subscribe, leave a comment of what you thought of the podcast. What can we do better? What can we do? What what worse. did we do good? <laughs> Where, what, what are you what, what <laughs> we can we do worse? Hey, right, you don't know that. <laughs> but uh, how's it? Thank you guys for tuning in to the Bull City Pioneers Podcast, and we'll see you next time. Oh, I'm Luis. I'm Hector. We'll see you next time. Peace. There you go. Peace out.